performance and now that we mixed the Vespertine live album, that were better than the record. That, and that's, that's always uh, a proof that you have, it was worth the effort. After the tour, I think every electronic event or festival should be um, in opera houses. I, I think so much of this, especially this laptop music, is very domestic, and it's it's very um, um, yeah, like I've said before, some sort of modern chamber music or something, and it's sort of built for um, a, a, a room. It's not meant to be amplified in in rock arenas or something. So uh, when we started uh, arranging live, we realized um, that we couldn't just put big uh, PA or speakers on stage and blast those uh, micro beats over and make them large to send them to the other end of the room because it would change their character completely. Mm. It, they would become large again. So, uh, so what we had to do was we had to put um, speakers in the back um, and, uh, and um, make the, all the little beats uh, travel around. So all of them would be quite quiet, but the, um, uh, the, the audience would feel surrounded by many, many tiny things. Well, I mean, the houses were, each one, in a way you could say, was more beautiful than the next. And it was a complete luxury to play in rooms like this with this kind of music. You know, we weren't playing opera. We were playing a kind of pop music, you know, a special kind of pop music in an opera house. So that, I mean, everything obviously then was very special about this and oftentimes Probably most times it was the first time this kind of concert was in this kind of house. And I know that, you know, many, there was a lot of handshaking and phone conversations and to make, um, to make a lot of these gigs happen in these houses, you know, a lot of faxes and emails going back and forth to, to make this stuff happen. But um, for, it made total sense that these shows should be there. These were the, this was the right music for this kind of place. I, I've had this craving to do this for so long. Um, and I felt so many times when I did those big rock arenas that, that uh, I mean, I'm probably exaggerating this, but that uh, 60, 70% of what we were giving out was just lost. 
in some sort of a rock cliche or something. Like all the sensitivities were bulldozed over. And, and um, since I'm, I'm a sort of listener, that these are exactly the sensitivities that n nurture me or make me walk home from a gig and I'm fulfilled, you know. So I had this craving to do this for a very, very long time. So when I would step on the stage of the most intimate places and feel like everybody, I was singing personally for everybody in the room, it of course was quite scary and you can't hide anything, you know. But also it was a craving I had had for such a long time that, you, that it, it sort of felt like a relief, sort of like a, uh, you know. So I guess it was a combination of both. But, but I do like it, um, you know, the whole chocolate thing, to be able to do it really, really, really well with all the lushness possible and and but also combined with the fact you've never done it so it's very scary and the sort of entering the unknown sort of adrenaline kick is 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 uh, it's a turn on you know instead of just doing one more uh, what you did last time and also I started craving it myself to go to a concert where I have a comfortable seat and and I can enjoy all the little details and nobody is in a hurry. You just sit there with your box of chocolates and then you can go and have a break and talk a little bit and then you come back and, and the pace is very slow, you know. And for me, I, I don't know if it was a local joke between me and myself and maybe no one got the joke, but for me it was the biggest challenge, in the, especially in the beginning of the tour, to just do a calm song and and do another calm song, and, and do another calm song, and, and another calm song, and then have a break. And, and to, to not, it's so, like, pro, I'm so programmed to just have a multiple orgasm on stage, like in three seconds. And, and to kind of have to uh, put all my energy into pacing myself for two, three hours and never peak or, 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 or explode, just kind of was, was very curious, you know. I just hoped, hope other people enjoyed it too. <laughs> she was amazing. Sometimes she, she can get my tears. <laughs> I think it's... While we are standing on state. <laughs> mm. I think my dream come true when I when I when I staying on the stage with uh, Bjork or something because I always dream about touring. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we all by are. myself or with, with something. It's it's dream come true.